Number two on our list of creepy places is this sprawling 160-room mansion in San Jose, California, known as the Winchester Mystery House. Said to be inhabited by ghosts and inspired by madness, it has the deranged design of a carnival funhouse. Secret passages and bizarre dead ends are everywhere. But someone actually lived here, and many maintain that some thing still does. When I walked in, my, my hand, I got chills. Like, there was an energy in the house, if anything. I mean, it's, it's, none of this stuff is explainable, but some of the rooms felt, felt like you felt like there was a presence. The Victorian mansion was the home of Sarah Parr D. Winchester, who was left heir to the Winchester rifle fortune when her husband and daughter died at a young age. She met a psychic who told her that the death of her husband and daughter were caused by the spirits of all the people killed by the Winchester rifle, and that the only way to appease the spirits was by purchasing a house and building continuously, and that as long as she kept building, the spirits wouldn't harm her. Sarah Winchester heeded this warning with reckless abandon. In 1884, she purchased an unfinished eight-room farmhouse. 38 years and $5.5 million later, she had transformed it into a sprawling seven-story mansion. The house today stands at 160 rooms. Uh, there are 40 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, six kitchens, two basements, uh, but only one shower. Uh, there are over 10,000 windows, 2,000 stairs. Um, there are 47 fireplaces, 17 chimneys. 13 carpenters labored day and night, building, remodeling, and expanding. But it is not the sheer size of the house that is so unsettling. It's the madness of the design. She added doors that open into walls, windows that open into walls, doors that open to nowhere, staircases that go nowhere, and one that goes to a ceiling. And a seance room that has one entrance and three exits, including a secret door that drops eight feet into the kitchen below. Sarah Winchester died in 1922 at age 83, and all work on the house stopped. Or did it? We brought psychic Ricky Brown on the tour to see if he could sense any restless souls. There are spirits just all over this place, um, just everywhere. Um, I don't particularly um, see Sarah Winchester, but um, what I really see is all the workers that built this place, they're still building it on the other side. They don't, a lot of them, they have no clue that they're gone. They're just, I hear hammers and nails like hammering away, and they're working on this place 24 hours a day, like they were alive. Several modern day employees have seen things they can't explain, like Jack Stubbert, who has been a restoration painter at the mansion for 20 years. It was early in the morning, we were just starting work, and uh, uh, me and my son walked into the uh, carriage entrance. And uh, I kind of glanced over, and I seen somebody in the hallway standing at the foot of the stairs. You could see it was like in a mist, but I could see all his features, his facial features, what he was wearing. He turned and looked up the stairway. I asked my son if he seen what I seen. He said the hair on the back of his neck was standing right straight up. Ghosts or no ghosts, hundreds of tourists walk the labyrinth of hallways trying to unravel the mystery, or at least be entertained by the strangeness of it all. You know, I personally haven't seen anything in the house or experienced anything, but that's not to say that what other people have experienced or what they've reported are not true. I'm sure that if, if I see anything, I'll be the first one out of the house running as fast as I can. 